Hey guys, how are you doing? I know I have been a little MIA on here recently. I did a little bit of update on my Instagram, but really I've kind of just been off social media for several weeks. It's been glitchy anyway, so I don't know. I'm just not, not feeling social media lately, like all the platforms, but I have purchased some new things um, in the last few weeks, you know, and I thought I would share with you guys. I did share one thing on Instagram. We'll start with that. Um, but I wanted to mention it again, just for those of you that don't follow me. And speaking of that, like, you know, Facebook, Instagram, when it was down and everything, you've heard me say this before, but a great place to follow me is make sure you bookmark my blog, mistcrystalblog.com, because that I can control. I don't have to rely on social media anywhere and I can share, uh, things there. So anyway, this candle, and I wanted to mention it again because we have burned it down. You can see... I don't know, about half or so, it burns really, really well. It's a three wick, I got it from Target. There's a few of them in these like frosted glass containers and they're new for fall. I kind of had a hard time finding them though. So you know how that is, depending on your Target, where they'll be. Um, what's this one called? It's a soy blend candle, apple cider donut. And like always, I'll list everything I'm talking about below. It smells so good and it will like fill up the whole room. I don't burn a lot of candles anymore. It's funny, I'll buy them and I'll just like leave them out and I can smell them just sitting there when I walk by. But this one I wanted to burn and it doesn't bother me. A lot of candles anymore, I just can't burn them because they just irritate me. Like I can't even think about burning anything from Bath and Body Works. It's just too much. Um, so again, this one burns nice and clean and it smells good. It doesn't like make my throat scratchy or anything like a lot of candles do. So I wanted to mention that again. Also speaking at Target, um, I think around that same time, I got a new soap. Um, when I looked online, I saw all four of them. In the stores, it's been hit and miss. Um, when I bought this one, they had all four available, but as I went to different Targets and just glanced around, I've noticed sometimes they have two or they'll have three or whatever. Um, there's, again, four different ones, like a black one, this gold, like a rose gold and like a silver. They all have different scents. They're the method. Um, and I just wanted to try something different. Um, basically it says, you know, plant-based cleansers. This one is um, Yanglang and Hyacinth. I don't know, it smells good. I thought they all smelled good, um, some better than others. I just chose this one. I was originally gonna put it in our powder bath, but we have a pedestal sink in there and it does not wanna sit real great where the soap goes. So I switched it to my side of the sink. So I have a couple things, or maybe just one thing that's not so great. Let me talk about that and get it out of the way. Um, my birthday was a few weeks ago, last month. Uh, I was on the mission for a couple of things and I was buying a few things and I decided to try this out. I had like a gift card and some credit and stuff like that uh, at Nordstrom. I had seen a few people talk about this foundation. I thought, you know what, this is a good time. I'm just gonna try it. It's the uh, Westman Atelier, you know, by Gucci Westman. I've not heard too many people talking about it, but I have heard a handful and all good things. This is what it looks like. The packaging is great, magnetic. All the packaging is like this, whether it's like the blush or the bronzer or whatever. So it's like a nice stick foundation. I went on their actual website to try to color match me and I think it's a decent color match. I, I was probably in between number two and three. This is number two. Um, it's hair light, anyway. I don't like it. It is such a disappointment. I thought it was going to maybe be similar to the Tom Ford, which I love. However, with a stick foundation, I always wear a primer under it normally, and I find that does the best. This, I wore a primer. I didn't wear a primer. I tried a sponge. I tried two different brushes, and I just don't want to try it again. Um, that's how much I dislike it. And it wasn't cheap. Of course, it's not as much as the Tom Ford, but it's not cheap, but I love the packaging. It's just, I don't know, one of those that just feels nice and had high hopes. I just do not love it. So if you were thinking about this, I don't know, I'd pass. If you have tried this and there's some miracle to it, I don't know, maybe because now I have aging skin. I just turned 48. I definitely have texture and pores and everything, which again, I can make work with the primer, all that. This, it just had no coverage. I thought, oh, it'll be like a lighter coverage than this, but I'll get the same kind of ease of it being a stick foundation, which I really like that sometimes. It just, 
I don't know, it was just bad all the way around, unfortunately. Um, in that same order, I picked up another one. They have a travel size and a larger size of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. They changed the packaging a little bit. Here's my other one that's almost empty. Like the lettering and all that's much bigger on it. Love this stuff. This is definitely one of the best I've ever tried. So love that. Sticking with a few other makeup items here. Um, purchased a new lipstick recently. You know, I go on those kicks with makeup. Like sometimes I'm really into makeup. I just want to try so much stuff. And then other times I could care less about makeup. So I've been into makeup lately and doing my makeup more and all that. Uh, so anyway, this is a Buxom lipstick and it is in the color Heartthrob. I was think I was looking online at Ulta and like it was called like 90s something. I don't know. This whole collection kind of got my attention. This one's really pretty. I would have worn it today, but I'm wearing something else. I've worn this with what I'm wearing, but this is really pretty. However, I can't wear too warm of a lip liner with it or it just looks odd on me. It's one of those you can kind of change it up with the lip liner, but it's very, very pretty. Um, I think anybody would like it. What I am wearing today on my lips is a Buxom gloss and I have kind of this love-hate with Buxom. I do not like that cooling feel, but I like that they stay on the lips and I like the colors. Uh, this one's in Dolly and this one, it was between this one and another one I was looking at, but I'm kind of into these types of colors in late summer or fall. So this is what I have on now. And I believe I just have it on with uh, the Milani nude pencil liner, which is a little more pink. I also purchased two new lip liners, Kat Von D. I've heard about this for years, the Lolita uh, liner. It's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of something I already have maybe. So I'm not sure, you know, if I totally say I love it, but it's nice. And this one I did not like. I should have gotten another color. Again, it was between this one and another color. And I picked this because it was different, but this is the Buxom liner um, in High Def Honey. It's way too brown for me. I like the liner itself. So you can see that. I'll swatch the other one for you too. Um, but I just, the color, I should have went with my instinct. I love how smooth both of them are. Um, let's see, there's the pink. So that's the Lolita, it is very pretty. And let's see, I feel like I haven't done any makeup swatches in forever. There's the lipstick. So just a really pretty like peachy pink kind of color. And again, you can see what this looks on me, the gloss, but I'll go ahead and, it's just a really pretty pink. It's that one right there. Again, I love Buxom glosses for the look. I just usually don't purchase them. But something I bought on that same trip, again, I told you I was kind of into makeup uh, there, this Ulta blush. I've never tried one of their blushes. This is the mineral blush, and this is in the color Peony. And I am wearing this today, by the way. And I just thought it was really pretty. No highlight today because it has ever so slight shimmer. I mean, you'd really only be able to see it in certain light, I think. I thought it was really, really pretty. Just that pop of kind of almost like bridal pink, you know what I mean? give you a nice youthful look and something I bought like a little while back but I wanted to mention because it's good for just like sometimes you just want that one color all over your lid this is a Maybelline shadow in nude glow um it's a little more pink than nude I would say kind of like definitely has a nude or a pink undertone to it but it's very pretty I don't know if it'll even swatch very well but definitely you can kind of see the glow of it there. Just a pretty like, like I said, all over lid kind of glow. I like it. Let's share some nail polish here. I feel like my camera's a little crooked all of a sudden. That caught my attention. I had shared on Instagram or somewhere, a few of you had asked me several weeks ago what polish I was wearing and I had bought a brand new uh, OPI You Don't Know Jacques. I bought this when it first came out, what, 10, 11 years ago or so when that collection was out. Now, is it just me or did this have more of a brown undertone back then? Because to me, it's very purple now and especially in the light, like I had it on my toes until a couple days ago as well. And I just remember it being a little more brown than purple, like still had that purple, but it is definitely just purple now. I don't know. I liked it better then, if I'm remembering correctly. Do any of you think the same? Have you purchased a new one? I've had that happen with OPI though on a couple of shades. They did change them and I can't think which ones right now, but 
I swear I remember this being a little more brown back then, but something I loved had on my nails. I meant to paint my nails today, but we ran out and I kind of ran out of time. I put top coat or base coat and then didn't end up painting them. And we were outside right now just before this and I kind of want to wash my car still. <laughs> so anyway, this Essie color, if you can find it, um, gosh, I don't remember where I put this up but it's called Rooting For You. I believe it's from their fall collection. It is so pretty and it's one of those that's much prettier on the nails than even in the bottle. Uh, really like that. I didn't have anything like that. However, this one, I painted my toes with this a couple days ago and it's a pretty color, but I feel like on, it looks like so many things I already have. I was hoping for a little bit brighter berry color. Um, it's called Off The Record. And again, it doesn't look like anything special on. It is very pretty and I like it, but I just feel like I already have things like that. I hate when things don't translate to the nail, that they look darker. I don't like that. Um, and this one, I have never tried this Ella and I guess Mila polish from Target is where I saw it. And let's see, La Vie and Rose is the color. And again, I'm obviously into the fall nail colors. This definitely doesn't look like anything I have. I'll show you kind of all together. You can see they're definitely all different and was really looking forward to trying this. I'll probably try this next maybe. Even though I love this so much, I feel like I want to put this on again. So I have shoes. I have definitely been on a kick uh, with finding like black retro sneakers and I've posted a couple pictures in my Like to Know It app. Um, of ones that I've tried, thought I was gonna keep, and then second guess myself. I should have bought the original ones, but the original ones were over $200. And I was like, what? you don't need to, you can find something similar. Well, I scoured the internet. Of course, everything that kept coming up that I liked were these. Bought a couple others that were close and they were good, but they just didn't quite scratch that itch, you know? Well, like I said, I ended up having like a gift card for my birthday and had some credit. So I was like, I got them for free basically. And so they, these are the original black retro sneakers that I wanted. And they are very <laughs> expensive for sneakers, I feel like, but they're comfortable. I like them better some, than some cheaper ones I've tried on. And I like that this is like an off white. It is not stark white like some of them I had tried. Um, it does have, you know, like the really crazy sole like a lot of them were having. It was funny because I had originally saw the New Balance that now I've seen everywhere and I'm so glad that I didn't purchase them because the, it was one of those shoes when I first saw them like one time, I was like, oh, I like those. It was still after I saw these. And it was funny, I asked my husband, I'm like, do you like these, those? And he was like, God, no. <laughs> well, then the more I kept seeing them like pop up on everybody on social media, I'm like, I don't like those. The more I saw them, the more I did not like them. Anyway, I'm glad I got my originals because they are so nice. I did go up, I think a half a size. It doesn't have any sizing here, but it was it's European sizing and I'm pretty sure I did a 37 and a half, but I'll put down below and they fit perfect. So I love these. Can't wait to wear these with leggings and joggers and stuff in the fall and winter. Still been in the eighties here. So we got like one little taste of fall and that was gone. All right, I literally have, I feel like I see my hair like deflating in front of my eyes. <laughs> I have four pairs of loafers to show you because again, when I'm on the hunt for something, I have a very specific idea in my mind. And you know how that happens to most of us. Like most of the time it's not going to play out what we're thinking, what we have in mind. You know, you go on a hunt and find something. These I love. These I wanted to work. However, I have to tell you, they may work for some of you, but I know just some of the other reviews said the same thing. They are very stiff leather, which a lot of classic loafers are. They were very tight to put your foot in these. I didn't even take the paper off this one because I'm going to return these because I found another pair I like. I, I don't want to return them. I've had them for weeks sitting there thinking, okay, maybe I'll make them work if I don't find something else and I'll casually look again and I'll find something else and try those. So these are Sam Edelman and this is what they look like and I love the color. I don't want a stark white loafer. I think that to me looks weird in the fall. Um, but I wanted a light color because I just have some ideas in mind for some outfits and I think last year I thought the same thing. I really wish I had had something this color. You guys know I love a loafer anyway. These are nice and cushiony on the bottom. 
And I got my regular size because my other pair of Sam Edelman loafers, they're tight when I first put them on too, but then once you walk in them, they kind of mold your feet. So I was like, there's no way I could order half size up because they'd slip off my heel, I can just tell. But you can barely get your foot in them. But I love them because I love this two-tone right here. To me, these are perfection. If you guys can make these work, these are the ones I would get. They're beautiful. I tried that uh, platform lug sole black Sam Edelman that you've probably seen around. I cannot pull those off. I like an edge to my style, especially in the fall and winter. I'm classic, kind of preppy sometimes, but I do like an edge once in a while, especially in a shoe or a jacket or something. Man, I could not pull those off. They just looked so stupid on me. I've seen them on a couple of other people at most. I've not seen them around a lot and they look awesome. To me, they looked dumb. So I was sad to turn, take those back, but. Okay, these, I want to show them to you just because I think they have other colors and they might be pretty in other colors if you're looking for that. These are Sperry's. These look so cheap. So these are going back right away. Um, I loved this on the front, but they look like a fake plastic something. I don't think they are. I couldn't, couldn't get to see if they were, um, they feel like leather on the inside, but Anyway, I think they came in other colors. So if you're interested, I'll link them below because you might be interested in other colors, but this color I wouldn't recommend. So these were the runner up um, to some because I like that these have a little bit of that lug sole um, and I liked that they were the suede and I like the color. And I don't know, I still like these, but I think I like another one better because um, I think the other ones would be, they would go with more where these I might be slightly limited, but they really don't look bad and I really like them. They were comfortable when I put my foot in them. I have a very narrow heel, so sometimes things slip on me and these were nice. Again, I got these in my true size and I believe they had these in other colors, but I'm not sure. I'll link where I got everything. I got some at Zappos, some at Nordstrom. <laughs> anyway, these are pretty, and again, these are kind of a runner up, save the best to last. So these are Hush Puppy brand. And um, I like these, but these slip up and down on my feet and I don't like the color as well. See how they're a little bit lighter? And I feel like in person, they have like a, a different undertone. Some of you may really like them. They have that classic penny loafer look, no lug sole or anything. They were very comfortable, um, but again, they slipped up and down on my heel slightly. So anyway, I really like the look of them though. They're pretty. These are the ones I believe I'm going with. So you can see the nice creamy neutral tan color. It's the suede classic penny loafer design, but not anything crazy on the heel. They're very classic looking and I like that. However, um, I don't know. I just think they'll look good with different things. I do like those ones with a slight bit of lug sole, but you know, those are kind of just trendy now. Don't know if they will be and where these are more classic. And I just feel like I have several things I could wear with these now. And again, uh, some outfits of mine, even like my faux leather pants that I had shown uh, from the Nordstrom sale. These would look cool with like a chunky sweater and stuff. I don't know. Uh, so these are probably the ones I'm going to keep. I really like these. And these came in a couple of other colors as well. I don't feel like I have done a classic haul in I don't know how long. Um, I feel like I should do more of them. Like, uh, sometimes I'm so bad because I like just get things in like bit by bit and then I don't share. Like um, I was just thinking I have it in the other room. The Banana Republic sale that I had shared on my Instagram. I got that sweat outfit, the matching outfit. That was great, loved it. It's very heavy though, so I haven't been able to wear it. I mean, that was a thick joggers and sweatshirt. And then I got the sweater joggers, like pants. Those were great too, but again, they're so thick. I haven't been able to wear them. So I didn't even put them on to show when I got them um, on Instagram, but that's something I got that I never followed up on with you guys. But anyway, let me know in the comments below if you kind of want me to do some hauls now and then or like, like this kind of several weeks go by and I just share. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye.